nine days since I've ridden my bike. It's only half two at the minute. Quick uh, snack stop. Got some orange juice, got some uh, flapjack. Damn, she looking very bright. I'm just out here in the dark, you know, picking up the bales, and I thought this might actually be quite interesting for some people. So I've got this set so that it's drawing where I've been, where I've driven. I'm doing that so that I don't miss anything. I can see a bit, but I can't see where there's bales, where there isn't bales. So this is the field I'm in at the minute, and this is all where I've driven. And yeah, you can see that I've cleared all the way from across that side this way. And if I zoom out a bit more, this is where I've been driving to get to the stack, which is just there. The lighter tone just shows how many, you know, more times you've driven on that, that area. I've got to finish this field. This is all baled, so I've got to go, you know, up and down here many many times to pick up all these bales So I've just been called up to um, go and retrieve a bale that's in the middle of the road. There it is, it was just literally in the middle of the road. Just editing the video and realised that I didn't really explain what happened here, but basically my brother went down the road with the baler and he had a bale like half hanging out the back and then he's obviously bouncing along down the road and fell out onto the middle of the road. So yeah, and then I went and picked it up with the telly handler. And then I went back and finished off my stacking, which is what I was trying to do to start with. Boom, that is done. Took me a while. It's a lot of back and forth for doing that stacking, but there it is, it's pretty big. Another night shift um, done. It's actually only half two at the minute, so um, not not gone too late this time. Um, but yeah, that's four in a row now, um, where I've finished, or well, I've been working through the night. Yesterday I finished at five o'clock in the morning, the day before that I finished at six o'clock in the morning, and the day before that I think it was four o'clock in the morning, so yeah, some pretty um, pretty late ones. Um, but it's got to be done, it's harvest time, you know, there's so much work, we're up to our neck in, in work, so we've got to get it done. Um, but yeah, I've just put the tractor over there, I've just filled it up, ready for the morning, so Joseph will jump on it at six o'clock. It's now been nine days since the World Cup and nine days since I've ridden my bike. I've not even built it, so I've got to go and build it uh, out of the bag and then I'm gonna ride it, so, uh, see how I get on. I've been ill, so my body's not 100%, um, but yeah, it'd be good to actually ride. I've been, been missing it. Number 17, I was first. When I was number 17, 
I'm 20. I uh, I was sixth. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna have to start the 26 ones like this side and work along there, I think. basically in a lot of pain in my hip and it's not good. I can tell you why I'm stiff in this right hand side of my body and that is because I've been sat down in the tractor and you drive the throttle with your right foot and also you do the brake with your right foot so you're constantly using that right foot and you sat down which is proper twisting your pelvis so this uh this tractor driving it's not good for you especially when you do it hours and hours and hours on end but it's all good we'll stretch out we'll get on the bike we'll get warm hopefully we'll have a steady ride my um my hip is so tight right hip I'm feeling pretty disgusting to be honest. My, my guts are all churning, like I feel a bit sick and a bit burpy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna set myself a section, nothing too hard, but just, you know, something long that gets me breathing. I don't know about this, to be honest. I think that's it. I'm gonna finish now because I do feel a bit funny in the tummy. Um, there's no point pushing it. Um, but I just had a really good idea to move two of these sleepers, put one up that. I've just been looking at it. I'm like, oh, that'd be good. That'd be a good little section. And then I put another one over here. Uh, but you'll see, I'm gonna just go and grab the loader. Last time I saw it, it had the tines on it. So it's ready to go. It'll literally take me about, I'm gonna say five minutes to do this. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. There she is. This one, there's now a gap up to that. And you can make it as hard as you like, really, because you can start close. So the line along this one and up that is back. And then this one's pretty different, like quite steep and awkward that. So, and that's what I like. Things that are a bit awkward, it's not necessarily just a standard gap or side up or whatever. Makes it so much more interesting.
fun for one day. It is such a joy to ride this bike though. It's a Hope HB130. So nice. I love riding it. Ready. course we can't go to sleep until we get the chaser ready for tomorrow got to grease it all up about halfway through doing it one o'clock in the morning at the minute but it's getting a bit cooler my headlamp when i turn that on it's not attracting all of the flies anymore so all i can think is that it's getting a bit chilly i had dinner earlier but i'm going for another portion and look at them bad boys and also, oh look, it's Oliver Waitman. That is a good way to spend your two o'clock in the morning. 